everyone. Another episode with Chicos Blue for Cats podcast here with me, the host Summit, and my friend and coworker Bree. Hi, Bree. Hey, Sam. Bree, do you want to tell us what we're going to talk about today? So today we are going to talk about toys for your cat and the ones we would recommend and the ones that maybe aren't the best options for them. Yeah, and also we can start with talking about why actually we need these cat toys yeah so i want to say uh, the first thing actually basically is the the need of our kitties to hunt and since they can do that except if they're outdoor cats maybe every once in a while they can you know it's go <laughs> yeah, bird or something <laughs> But mostly in the wilderness, they have a lot of time to uh, hunt and we basically replicate this feeling and this instinct they have. So fulfill that instinct of hunting for them is a important part of these toys. Another reason if you want to share the next one. Yeah, uh, the next reason would be exercise. So a lot of house cats are overweight um, and doing any type of exercise helps them burn more calories just like in people and also gives them that stimulation. Um, so, you know, when you're playing with your kitty, you're also helping it stay healthier and live a longer life. Yeah, the recent studies show uh, actually that f over almost 55% of the cats in the United States are overweight. I believe it. <laughs> that's a, that's that a lot of cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have one too. <laughs> um, and also another reason, among many other reasons, is also that it is a important time and for you or opportunity for you to have uh, owner and animal bonding basically yeah. uh, spend some quality time with them i try to do at least 10 minutes every day after a long day of work i just when i come home and they're excited to see you mm -hmm. i think that's like a great time to um you know take the toys out and spend some time with them do you do it in a group or do you do it individually with yours well it's a good question because every cat has their own toy yeah. favorites in my house so uh, this is actually funny that you asked because one of my cats figure uh, his favorite toy is a is a pickle <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that catnip in it or is it just a pickle it it doesn't have catnip in it but i did sprinkle some catnip uh, every once in a while around it on, uh -huh. but um it's just in the shape of a pickle don't ask me why <laughs> and for some reason he's just in love with that thing so we play and he does that back feet kicking thing when oh, yeah. you put it in his belly and stuff yeah. and so every cat has a different toy it's not a group one except uh, we're going to talk about this later but the chase toys where the you know you yeah. have the stick and longer. and yeah so when i do that everybody gathers obviously <laughs> so, to be a part of it what do you do i oftentimes will do groups because i have quite a few cats and a lot of times there's not enough room or one mm -hmm. of them who's more shy won't come and play some of the more forward kitties do so i kind of split it up okay um, and do a small group play oftentimes <laughs> i like it nice if you want we can mention a few of these options of what kind of toys uh, we can use and they're safe to use or good for mental stimulation for kitties. Well, one of the first ones we can talk about is just our basic tunnel. Mm -hmm. So that one, I mean, it's kitties seem to like that because they can hide in it. And oftentimes they have a little holes so they can pop their head out and you can toss <laughs> toys in it. They can kind of attack it. So I, I know mine have a lot of fun with those. Yeah, it kind of seems like they, when they're sitting inside, they're looking out to you. They almost think that you can see them. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> One little warning about this toy, especially uh, I get to experience this too, is that sometimes if you do need a quiet time yourself, if you have one of these you know crinkle style yeah. tunnels it can get really loud when they go in and out like every five seconds yeah. they just tear through it <laughs> yeah yeah uh, but uh, my cats love to sprint through it too and sometimes if they are too big and the tunnel is too narrow <laughs> it can get pretty noisy out there uh yeah that's one of the good cat options that's safe it doesn't have any pieces that can get loose or you know swollen by your cat or anything yeah. like that yeah Another one that my favorite is the laser, but it's not the laser that you just point somewhere that you have to sit there and point it mm -hmm. to walls and stuff. It's rather like a laser tower that I have, and it has three different settings. Uh, you can make it super slow uh, or super fast or medium. And, and the laser I have has random movements. So, so it's not oh, like wow. a circle. It's not a square. It literally randomizes its movements 360 around it. Do you remember you got it from? Amazon. Okay. Everything, I, every cat <laughs> I get is from Amazon. But um, 
I have to tell you, it's been a long time since we have it, and um, maybe five years, and they still play with it because it's so randomized. Them. Yeah, that's neat. Because my cats, I use the just the basic pointers, but they love that too. And that's another one I have to split up into groups because mm -hmm. ten cats running after one lady. <laughs> so yeah, another good crazy. thing about this one, just to before we finish, is that once you click it. It lasts for 15 minutes. Oh, that's so a what? Good yeah, time too. yeah. So what we do is when we go on a trip before we leave, we just click that thing and leave. <laughs> or if even if we go to a half day trip or something, you know, so they have a little bit of play time. Stimulation. Yeah, and exactly. Gone. All right. So another one we can talk about um, are catnip stuffed toys. So mm -hmm. that's a really popular item out there. Almost any little toy is with catnip these days it seems like it comes with a little attachy pack and most kitties well not most i should say about half is what the study says on this uh, particular instance about liking the catnip some kitties really enjoy it it stimulates them you'll see they get happy they kind of bunny kick they roll around and then some are indifferent mm -hmm. so it just kind of depends on your cat just like with people i think yeah, and these catnip stuffed toys, they come in so many different shapes. Shapes and sizes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one we have here that we're looking at a couple minutes ago is a pretzel shaped. <laughs> Which I've never seen before. I've never seen that either. Um, but uh, it's definitely a good option too, because again, it doesn't have any hanging pieces, any small uh, parts that can get yeah. loose. I mean, I like it because all they can do is kick it and it's make it. simple and easy. Yeah. yeah. The one thing we did want to note is there is a very small percentage of cats who get overstimulated by the catnip. And I happen to own one of these kitties. <laughs> <laughs> but where the catnip makes them almost aggressive, where they're just so overstimulated, they want to kind of go after other animals or people in their wake because they just get so excited. So... Yeah, I heard, <laughs> I heard that from you before the episode, but I honestly never experienced it. So that's a good warning. Um, my cats, half my cats are indifferent to it and the other half just absolutely gets really excited <laughs> and, you know, just uh, rubs itself to the catnip. So it's a good, good, good tip to be careful to see what kind of side effects it might have on your cat. Um, yeah, those are good options. And of course, the food puzzle toys, those are good options too, because same time they have to earn their treat, yeah. but it's also another, like we said before, exercise uh, yeah, chance for them. Yeah. Yeah. It's a toy and a treat, but they're also getting their exercise with it too. So it's a it's a good way to help regulate the diet. Yeah, and if you get a round shaped one when they try to like paw at it or try to open it up, it's gonna roll around and it's gonna make them run around a little bit if they really want that treat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, one more we've got on here is, uh, so basically any kind of toy in a wand is a great tool for cats because mm -hmm. especially when ki cats are young when they're kittens you don't want to encourage them to play with your hands so yeah, if you've absolutely. got like a little mouse in your hand you're kind of tossing it moving back and forth a lot of times kittens will get used to kind of grabbing onto your hand and we don't want that behavior to continue into adulthood so if you get one on a long pole of some sort or a wand it's great to keep the distance while still engaging your cats that's a wonderful tip i so agree with it because most people that adopt kittens they just put their finger right to the belly of the kitty so it can yeah. back feet um, yeah, kick it. And, yeah, 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 <laughs> the rabbit kicking. But um, absolutely, it should be the opposite of kind of prog programming them to towards toys instead of your fingers. Yeah. That's a great tip. I like that. Um, and before, I mean, there's so many toys out there. We could talk about this forever. But <laughs> <laughs> before we uh, close, I actually want to talk about a couple little tips to make it also safe for us to have cat toys in our homes. If you want to share one of those with us, what do you think can be a good tip? Well, they kind of both correlate with one another, but the biggest concern with cat toys is possibly ingesting part of that cat toy. Mm -hmm. So things with hanging parts, like sometimes you'll see a little, you know, animal with like legs hanging off a string or mm -hmm. some feathers. And a lot of cats are going to immediately try to pull that off. And some cats will ingest it accidentally or they'll just try to eat it on purpose, yeah. um, which can lead to some serious problems. In intestinal yeah. blockage. Yeah. Which can lead to surgery, which we don't want to happen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, my pet peeve about these toys is when I go shopping is I don't like those feathers attached to, you know, mice yeah. or other random yeah. shapes because they really easily fall off. And if you have a kitten or even an adult cat that likes to swallow or this lick kind of, them, a lot of times they'll lick them, them which gets them yeah. stuck in their mouth, which 
Yeah, that's the, my, my uh, first one that I ignore when I go toy shopping. <laughs> <laughs> but also put your toys away um, when you're done. Just because when you are gone and they do want to play more, they might be able to set the pieces apart and, and play with it too much and cause some harm again. Yeah. If there's anything questionable, put it up. I mean, there are safe toys to have out, you know, without, a, you know, just your basic ball. Like the, we talk, talked about the tunnel, mm -hmm. but, you know, anything with anything they could get stuck in their mouth, just put it away and be better safe than sorry. Yeah. Well, one little uh, bonus tip from me, from my own personal experiences, my cats love these uh, spongy balls that just ha are shiny. Anything shiny, they get extra <laughs> motivated to go after. Uh, sparkly, I should say. That's my favorite toy. It's cheap and it's effective. So I like, I, I take a 20 pack from Amazon, yeah. release all 20 of them same time. Everybody loses <laughs> their gone. mind. <laughs> I know they're, they're gone in the like, next morning. <laughs> yeah, they are actually. And I have to start looking under beds and couches <laughs> to find them. Yeah. So do, if you have anything else to add, or we can uh, basically say happy playtime. Yeah, everyone. get out there and get your kitty some cool toys and get them some exercise, keep them healthy. All right. Thank you everyone for listening. Uh, find us on chicocast.com, Spotify, or Apple podcast. Uh, you can subscribe and share our podcast and thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.